How are you, Jesus, oh God? Just like what the song says, be still and know and know Him. I think this is um, an opportunity for each and every one of us to make a pause right now in our hearts, in our spirit. Just like what is said in Psalms 46. Let me just read that verse. Be still and know that I am God. It's actually a command. It's not like a suggestion. But God is telling us to be still and know that I am God. I will continue in that verse in Psalms 46 verse 10. I will be honored by every nation and I will be honored throughout the world. And how can we really be still and know why we will be still uh, why we can be still and take a rest in him because in verse 11 for the lord of heaven's armies is here among us he is within us and the god of israel is our fortress you know that even the um, even the the soil in the ground it needs to be rested after the harvest right before you can plant it again you can plant again in the soil you have to make it rest so that it will be more fruitful the bread the dough it will make its potential when you have it rest and you let the yeast work on that on that dough right so there is power in the rest there is power in the on, on being uh, still it's a command of the lord and maybe some of you will say no i have already been resting for two years <laughs> this pandemic this is already a rest you're not resting if the worry is still there because when you say be still you're letting god to do his work you're letting God to, uh, to, to, to work on, on, on His own. And you just being there still and resting. And you are just waiting for the Lord to move in His mighty power. In His own way. And you will just be surprised. So, um, let's just use this opportunity right now. Lord, this is what you want us, Lord God. Let there be true rest and be still. In our, in our stillness, in our resting, Lord God, then we will see and know who you are to us in our midst. And the other people will also see and know that you are God. You are God. You are the Lord of the heaven's armies. And we are allowing you, we are giving you permission to work in our midst right now. Even to our brothers and sisters and for those who have, you know, um, may, it may be like accidental that they have, that they are viewing this uh, online service. It is not an accident, but God is telling you to rest in Him and to give it to Him because rest is a gift from God. Even Him, He demonstrated it when He created the heavens and the earth and even the uh, human. He rested on the seventh day. He made a demonstration that there is power in rest, in resting up with um, in God, resting in His Word, and letting Him do His work. Father, we thank You. We give You permission right now 
that in our waiting it's not waste wait is not a waiting is not a wasting is not wasting father we thank you lord god and we could praise you and worship you and we can give glory to your name lord god and we have the confidence lord god that you are working in our midst because we know that you are with us just like what you said in Psalms 46, you are among us and within us, Lord God. We just commit to you everything. And Father, we lift up to you even our young people, our young generation, and our youth right now. Um, yes, Lord God, we commit them to you, Lord God, and continue to uh, mold them and raise them up, Lord God, to be, the, um, to be your children and upon their calling lord god we're calling them in your in in uh in in the design that you have called them lord god and father we continue to pray for our brothers and sisters lord god who are in the quarantine or uh maybe they have this still this symptoms lord of this uh virus we declare healing upon them lord god we declare healing in the name of jesus we thank you, Lord God, for the strength. We thank you for the complete healing in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God. And Father, we also take this opportunity to pray for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. Um, that, Lord, you will continue to strengthen them, Lord God. And Lord, we just pray for your, for your move, Lord God, that you will do something, Lord God, in this, in this um, just like what is said in Psalms 46. Lord, you said you can cease the war. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, for we know that at the end of this, it is still you who will be uh, glorified and magnified, Lord God. That every knee will bow. There's no authority, no president, or no, nor anything, no, no principalities. That they will not bow down before your name, Lord God. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord and the King above all this earth in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.